A breaking news update out of Cherokee County. A man is facing murder charges in the death of his neighbor. Originally, he said he was target practicing when he accidentally shot her. Now the sheriff says that doesn't add up. 7 News' Alessandra Young has the details. Through investigation and forensics, the Cherokee County Sheriff says what appeared to be an accidental shooting turned out to be more than that. A bond hearing was held here for a 30-year-old man whose charges have just been upgraded from involuntary manslaughter to murder and shooting inside a dwelling. This was a complete accident. I don't understand why anybody would ever think that. I was out to get that woman or whatever they might think. 30 year old Nicholas Lucas has been charged in the death of mother of nine, Keisha Tate. She has babies. Her youngest is four, and she has a grandbaby. They don't understand what's going on. She was killed August 27th when a bullet went through her back door. Investigators say Lucas lives behind Tate's home on Songbird Lane. Originally, investigators believed the shooting was accidental, that Tate was killed when a bullet ricocheted. Now, Sheriff Steve Mueller says those facts don't add up. We believe, based off of the forensic work uh, that was done by our team, that we can clearly say that this was not an accident, uh, that it was not a ricochet. Sheriff Mueller says the bullet retrieved during an autopsy didn't show the deformity it would if it had struck the tree first. It's very clear that for her to be struck, someone had to physically turn their body and or their hand and gun and shoot in that direction. The bond hearing was standing room only. We're grateful for the community support, for the, just for the sheriff's office is doing what we needed them to do. Keisha's not here to speak. But the forensics spoke for her. The forensics spoke for Keisha today. Love your loved ones while they're here. It's too late when that day comes that you can't say that. Family and friends say they will continue to fight for Keisha Tate and the loved ones she's left behind. So let's fight peacefully. Let's work together in the community with the sheriff department and get this man put away for the rest of his life. The judge has denied all bond for Lucas and said it'll be set by the next judge. Now, Lucas is also charged with shooting under the influence. In Cherokee County, Alessandra Young, 7 News. Sheriff Mueller says only one bullet was found inside the home, and that was the one that killed Tate. They found many bullets around the yard where Lucas was target practicing.